had a spirit of masturbation, drunkenness, smoking. I got an encounter with a man of God. When he touched me, my body was hot. So ever since I left here, that spirit has gone. I'm no longer smoking, I'm no longer drinking. Citizens of heaven, my names are Brother Bless in King Beza. I'm from Libya Lem Division, precisely in Wenchen Fosom, for those who know the area. So the problem that brought me here was the spirit, I have a lot of spirit that was following me up. I had a spirit of masturbation, drunkenness, smoking, gambling, and, and lies telling. Et le problème qui l'a mené ici au ministère de l'Âge de l'Alliance de Dieu, il avait l'esprit de masturbation, l'esprit de vol, l'esprit de mensonge et bien d'autres esprits qui l'embêtaient. So I'm standing here to expose the devil and to testify for what God has done in my life. It all started some years back in the village. That was uh, the year 2002. I was very brilliant in school. Talking of education, in my class, they know me to be always the first. So it came a time this spirit entered me. I started losing concentration in my studies. I would run out from school to go and do odd jobs just to earn money. Later on, I find myself stealing something that is not in my family. I've never stole before, or neither my brother or my sisters. I found myself stealing a shop. Before I could realize myself, I was being caught. Alors, tout a commencé en 2002. Lorsqu'il était à l'école, il était un élève exemplaire. Il était très intelligent à l'école. Alors, tout d'un coup, il s'est retrouvé avec cet esprit de vol, quelque chose qu'il n'y a pas dans sa famille. Et c'est comme ça qu'un jour, on l'a attrapé et a transporté au tribunal. Quand j'ai été caught, je ne pouvais pas croire. C'est Dieu qui m'a sauvé de cette même situation parce que... I never knew I could ever do such a thing. I just found myself, when I woke up, I saw people around me. And after when I was well beaten up, it was one father who saved me because he knew my father. They were colleagues. Because my father was a, a, a head teacher in the primary education. So that's how my education, my career stopped there. I could no longer continue schooling. The news came to my principal because I was very popular in school. So I was dismissed from the school. So I could not support the disgrace and the shame around my area. I had to run the, from the village to the city. Et c'est comme ça qu'avec la honte, il ne pouvait plus résister cette honte dans le village, plus que il a arrêté d'aller à l'école. Vu qu'on est, on est allé le, 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 le euh, dire à son proviseur à l'école qu'il avait volé, et avec toute cette honte, il a décidé de quitter le village pour aller à la cité. So in my school, I was told in tailoring. They dismissed me. I had an uncle in Yaoundé who is a tailor. So I thought it's, an, it's a good idea to go and meet him so that I can, can continue my, my tailoring job there. But when I got to Yaoundé, the situation became worse. I had to run from his house and go to the streets. Alors, au village, il apprenait à coudre. Et lorsque il a fui du village pour aller en ville, il allait à Yaoundé chez un oncle qui était aussi curé. Et il a aussi commencé à prendre à coudre les habits avec son oncle. So I was opportune to have this job as a a caretaker of an electronic shop where I was earning a lot of money. And that's how I started drinking. I come along, I, I met so many bad friends who introduced me into drinking, smoking, clopping. I could not longer work for that lady because she realized that the more I was working, her shop was going down and she had to drive me away from the shop. Et bien après, il a eu un travail chez une dame où ça lui payait beaucoup d'argent et c'est comme ça qu'il a eu des amis qui l'ont entraîné à fumer la cigarette, à boire des alcools et bien d'autres choses. So that's how this spirit has been manipulating me, following me everywhere. I see got another job as a receptionist in a hotel. The same thing, I will have money at the end, I'll go on drinking, 
When people come into lodging in hotels, I could not pay the money to my boss. I will use the money to drink and smoke, to humanize, and that's how they will still drive me from the, from the place. I could take more than a crate a day and more than a packet of cigarettes. I smoke, the more I drink, the more I smoke. Alors, notre père explique qu'il pouvait boire plus d'un casier de bière et un, un paquet de cigarettes par jour. I even went ahead to smoke Indian hems. When I met these friends of mine who introduced me into Indian hems, I smoked, so I was smoking all types of cigarettes. Now, the worst of it all, I came across this another job to work as a salesman in the bar. I was in the bar, so I was the owner, it was like I was the owner of the bar. When people come to buy, I was very happy to be in that place because, first of all, drinking was my hobby. I loved drinking and smoking, so everything was found there. When somebody wants to buy a drink, as I'm offering you a bottle of drink, I'm also taking my own bottle of drink. So that's how it continued. At times, at the end of the month, I will not end my salary. They will just deduct everything that I've spent from, from my salary, and I will not have anything as a salary. One day, there was a funeral in the quarter beside that bar. So, you know, during funeral, people love to drink a lot. So, my boss gave me an instruction. He said I should not sell up to midnight. Later, she'd be midnight, she locked the bar. So, for me, I thought I wanted to surprise her because she was a lady. I wanted to surprise her by selling much money without knowing that I was instead trying to kill myself. By 1, 1 a.m., some group of men came in because by then the bar was still open, but the door was locked. So they came in, they said, I've come for this funeral that is around, they want to have a drink. So I took them to the VIP parlor. They were drinking, they invited me to come and join them. They said, how can I be drinking? And I'm just there looking at them. So I love it. I went and met them, that's how they were drinking. Each time they would pass a command, say, bring this bill at the end, they'll pay. Without knowing that, they were out for, uh, for their plans. And they, they end up by poisoning my drink. I've later found myself in the floor the next morning when my colleague came to take over the, the bar. Et pendant ce funérail, il y a des personnes qui sont venues au bar plus qu'il avait fermé la porte. Et ces personnes ont dit qu'ils voulaient consommer et les amener dans le salon VIP. Et ils ont, consom ils ont commencé à consommer. Les invités lui ont demandé qu'il fallait qu'il puisse prendre aussi sa part de bière. Et c'est comme ça qu'il a pris sa part de bière et buvait avec eux. On a empoisonné sa bière. Et il s'est retrouvé le lendemain au sol. That's how I was being locked up by the owner of the bar. She said I was the one who organized it. I went to prison because of all these spirits of drinking and smoking that was following me all around. But of what I could not bear it, I had to leave Yaoundé also. But I left Yaoundé and went to Konsamba. Unfortunately for me, the guy with whom I was living in Yaoundé, he left behind and ran away with all my things. So I have to remain in Konsamba to continue life there. From there, the spirit also started following me. My elder brother bought me a bike to start up a living, but I could not see continue to do the work he has, he has given me the work to do. He told me that that bag I'm giving you is for you to start up your life because you left your under with nothing. But the spirit of drinking and smoking, I didn't spend three months with that bike. I sold the bike. He bought, he bought that bike for 500,000 francs, but I ended up selling the bike for 200,000 francs just to go and play life with it. Alors, lorsqu'il s'est retrouvé au sol, le matin, il s'est réveillé, et le, son patron est arrivé, il a constaté qu'il y avait vol dans le bar, et il a failli faire la prison, et c'est comme ça qu'il a quitté Yaoundé, il était obligé de quitter Yaoundé pour Konsamba. Il a trouvé son grand frère qui l'a acheté une moto pour recommencer à vivre. Mais à cause de cet esprit de cigarettes et de, des alcools, il était obligé de vendre cette moto pour moitié de prix qu'on avait acheté. So as I sold it for that 200,000, I start, some friends introduced me into gambling. And I used all the money in drinking, playing games, humanizing, until I was left with nothing. My elder brother had to drove me out of the house. And that's how I became useless. I became home homeless. I now started dealing. I went to you and I can, I can, I don't see anybody I can stand in front of you and complain and you don't give me money. Especially men of God. I'll go to a man of God and tell you, My daughter is sick because I have a daughter. My daughter is sick. She has had an accident. And the doctors are demanding for a huge amount of money. I want some deposit. And that's how they'll be giving money from left to right. I will go and drink, drunk. So, brother, you said you started gambling and there was a machine. Can you just explain about that part? What kind of machine? How does it function? It is a, this Chinese machine. They play with money. 
It means if you put 100 francs, you can win 2,000, you can win more than the amount you have put as, uh, to play. So for me, I was, I was just in need of money. I just wanted to have money. That's why I started playing the game. Instead of me to win, I was instead losing. But others will be coming and winning in front of me. Alors, il explique que tout cet argent, il a utilisé sur des machines où les Chinois ont apporté, où on met 100 francs pour gagner soit 2000, 1000 francs. Ça dépend de ce que tu peux gagner. Mais lui, il s'est rendu compte qu'il n'avait jamais gagné. Mais les gens qui venaient jouer avec lui gagnaient. I have, I have never lacked something to tell the man of God. Whenever I reach in front of somebody, that spirit will come into me. I can even be crying in front of you. You will think that the story is real. Because I remember I went to one lady, she's a sister in the Catholic Church. I really cried until I fell on the ground, telling her that my, my daughter is about to die, that I really need 50,000 francs. She was so, so sad. She went and gave me 30,000 francs. That, that's all she could afford, that she would go and try somewhere else. And she's not a first, she's not a second, she's not a third, so many of them. So nothing I'll do good without money. I'll only go and drink, smoke, humanize, club. I just feel happy when I'm playing that type of life because I'm not used to living without money. When I'm poor, I'm sick. I will do everything possible to have money. Each time I sing and think of my past life, it has been 17 years that I dropped out from school. My classmates are big people today. I have nothing to show up because I was so much interested in money. I think by today I would have been a rich man, but yet I'm nothing. In my family, I, I happen to be the second born of my family, my, my father. I was supposed to be taking care of my siblings by now, but I'm instead the one begging from them. Right now, my family have rejected me. If you call about me to ask from them, they say they don't care, they don't care about me. Even if anything happened to me, they don't care. So my family has been telling me ever since to come to Ark of God Covenant for my deliverance. I've been claiming stubborn. Nothing has happened to me, I'll still go and do the same thing. But I came here on my own because I could no longer support the shame. The problem was already right up to my neck. I said, what type of life is this? So I came here, I was opportune to, to enter the prayer line, and that's how I got encounter with the man of God. When I received a touch from him, I was expecting to manifest, just like I've been seeing other manifesting, because I knew my own spirit that is in me is extraordinary. Alors, à cause de ce problème, il savait que ce n'était pas normal. Il a commencé à parcourir les églises pour chercher des solutions. Les hommes de Dieu ont prié pour lui. Il n'y avait toujours pas de solutions. Et c'est comme ça qu'on l'a conseillé de venir ici au ministère de l'âge de l'Alliance de Dieu. Lorsqu'il est arrivé ici, il a eu le privilège de passer dans la chambre de puissance, croyant qu'il devait faire comme tous les autres, que lorsqu'on te touche, tu tombes, mais à sa grande So when the man of God was coming closer to me, I started feeling some internal heat. When he touched me, My body was hot, and that's how I left. But I was not really sure. For me, I, I really wanted to manifest because even my friends, those who knew that I was coming here, they said, but we never see you manifesting. It means that spirit is sitting in you. I said, no. I know something has happened to me because I felt this internal heat in me. So ever since I left here, that spirit has gone. I'm no longer smoking. I'm no longer drinking. That hush of telling lies has gone. Alors, quand il était dans la chambre de puissance, lorsque l'homme de Dieu et l'apôtre John Chis s'approchaient de lui, il sentait une chaleur et un vent qui le laissaient, et c'est comme ça qu'après il est quitté. Mais sachant que ses amis lui avaient dit au quartier que si on ne te voit pas manifester, ça veut dire que cet esprit est encore en toi, parce que toi, ce qui t'embête est vraiment beaucoup grand. Mais à sa grande surprise, lorsqu'il est rentré, il a senti un changement en lui, les choses qu'il faisait avant, aujourd'hui il ne les fait plus. So, brothers and sisters, I said I could not keep this testimony to myself because for those who knew me before, when they look at me, they will see that there is a great change. Even my flesh, you know when you are smoking, you are drinking, there is this nicotine in you. You cannot have a, a good flesh. But when those who knew me, when they look at me, they know that there is a great change in me. So I said I should come and testify for the goodness of God, what the Lord has used, Apostle John Sheet. I prefer my present life because when I think of my past life, it was useless. When you are in the world, all this drinking, smoking, humanizing, clubbing of a thing, you think maybe the world will not get finished because there's a lot of pleasure when you are in it. But when you taste the other side of it from God, you will see that there's a great difference because you find peace, you find, you find joy, you find happiness, everything. Alors, il préfère sa vie de chrétien aujourd'hui 
Parce que lorsque tu es dans le monde, tu bois, tu fumes, tu convoitises, tu as l'impression que la vie ne va jamais s'arrêter. Mais lorsque tu es en Jésus-Christ, ce qui t'arrive, c'est la paix, la joie et la liberté. Well, my advice go to young men who are like me. I know my friends are watching those who were living all those of lives together. It is never too late to give your life to Jesus. Although I'm not good in quoting scriptures, but the Bible says a thousands of years is just like a day to God. I know I may have lost so many things in this day, in all this while, but I believe God is capable of restoring all those things just in a second. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Pour Jésus Christ. Alors, il, con, il, il conseille à toute personne qui traverse des mêmes problèmes que lui, et particulièrement les gens avec qui il fonctionnait dans le passé, il n'est jamais trop tard pour donner ta vie en Christ. Well, I promise to serve God for the rest of my life, and I believe I will come back for more greater testimonies. Alors, il promet de suivre Dieu tout le reste de sa vie en esprit et en vérité, tout en espérant de revenir avec d'autres grands témoignages.